Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today I'm in the mood for an English breakfast. Now I'm not going to go out and get one, I'm going to make one here at home and you're going to judge whether it's any good or not. <laughs> we will see whether Greeno cooks <laughs> as well as Greeno eats. So let's have a little look at the ingredients I've got to put together for this breakfast. Okay so here are the main breakfast ingredients. We have some Tesco finest dry cured streaky bacon. I do like streaky bacon, it crisps up lovely. We have some deluxe pork sausages from Lidl. Not tried these ones before, so hopefully they'll be decent. And a couple of plum tomatoes there, which I'm gonna roast up with a little bit of herbage on the top and some salt and pepper. We've got eggs here. Now, even though these are in a Tesco box, they're actually from a local guy who keeps chicken, so they should be pretty awesome eggs. We've got some potato there, which I'm going to peel, then boil, and then saute. So some little fried potatoes. And a tin of beans. Now, I'm not too fussy about whether they're Heinz beans or not. doesn't bother me in the slightest. As long as they're not really, really cheap, horrible ones, the Tesco ones are perfectly good. So there we are, those are my main ingredients. You'll have to forgive the fact that I haven't got any black pudding, I forgot to buy some. <laughs> and of course we're gonna get some toast and some fried bread and a nice cup of tea on the go as well. Let's get underway. So peeling the spuds, uh, like I say, I'm gonna boil these up and then, uh, and then saute them. I'll cut them into little chunks prior to that. Um, one thing, when I'm cooking a breakfast, I like to cook things kind of nice and long and slow. Um, I find with the sausages, that helps them cook through nicely and gives them an even colour. Uh, in fact, I cook them in the air fryer normally these days, which I'll be doing. I'll also be putting the plum tomatoes in the air fryer too. Uh, they will roast up nicely alongside those sausages. The bacon, you've got to cook bacon in a pan, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned. Grilling's okay. Um, oven cooking bacon. It's not okay. <laughs> Frying pan is best. And of course, if you start it nice and low and slow, some of the fat renders off as you're crisping it up. You leave that fat in the pan and that's where you're going to get your fried bread from. Absolutely delicious. So, spuds are almost peeled now. Get them into some boiling water. Cooked up. And I can get everything else underway. Let's get the sausages and the tomatoes in the air fryer. They're going to take 15, maybe 20 minutes, I guess. So that's going to be the uh, one of the longest components. Looking forward to this. I'm starving. Okay, so the sausages and tomatoes are ready to go into the air fryer. You can see on the tomatoes there, I've added a little bit of seasoning. There's a little bit of salt and pepper and just a whisper of rosemary on there, dried rosemary, just to give it a nice little flavour. They should cook up pretty nicely. I reckon, that, like I say, about 15, 20 minutes for them. And over here on the stove, you can see those potatoes I've cubed and they're boiling up nicely. It won't take long at all. The bacon is ready to go. Like I say, I like using streaky bacon. You can see it's got really good fat content in there and it's a cold pan. You put a flame under the cold pan and that just helps to release some of that fat and crisp things up nicely. A pan here with the beans. Now if I'm feeling indulgent, I might stick a little knob of butter in there in a bit. It really helps richen up the sauce. And then we've got a pan here ready for those eggs. Again, I tend to cook them on a pretty low heat. I don't like crispy edges on the eggs. Just a nice low heat, baste it with the oil, nice runny yolk and nice soft white. Lovely. So as this is all getting underway, let me know in the comments section down below what's your favorite item on an English breakfast. I say, I'm not gonna call this a full English because I haven't got black pudding. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a cooked breakfast. But uh, are you a fan of bacon, the sausages, the eggs? How do you have your eggs, in fact? Do you like poached, scrambled, fried? Personally, poached or fried for me. But um, yeah, going for fried today. Uh, but maybe there's something else that you think is the, the king of the breakfast plate. Let me know. So just drained the potatoes off. They're going to sit there, dry up a little bit. And now we've got the fried bread in that bacon fat. Oh, that's going to take on all that lovely bacon flavour that the uh, streaky bacon released from its fat. All absorbed into that bread. Delicious.
is the finished article, folks. The English breakfast there, and some toast, and a nice cup of tea. Let's take a look at the individual components. Okay, you can't see the fried bread because it's underneath the beans and the egg, but it's definitely there. And then we've got this lovely, crispy, streaky bacon. A couple of sausages there. Nice, even cook all round like you get in the air fryer. Along with those tomatoes, which I think look great. Nicely roasted up with a little bit of herb on the top. That egg is just perfect for me. It looks like it's going to be nice and runny. No crispy edges to it. Got those nice fried little chunks of potato. Much better than a hash brown any day of the week. And of course the obligatory brown sauce. And then all finished off with a nice cup of tea and some toast. A little bit of advice folks. If you get the opportunity, buy yourself a toast rack. It keeps the toast nice and crunchy, nice and crispy. There's a reason why they have them in little hotels and B&Bs. So you don't get toast sweat. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you think that looks good. If you think you could put it away. I'm going to do that right now. Right, folks. Let's start with the bacon, shall we? Like I say, nice and crispy, you can see. Definitely not floppy or flabby. Nice, thin, streaky bacon. Mmm. That's good. When that fat crisps up, it gives such a lovely flavour. It's salty. It's savoury. Lovely texture to it. One thing I don't like, like when you go to a calf sometimes, like if it's, especially if it's like a greasy spoon, and they've cooked the bacon, normally back bacon, and you've got that white fat around the outside and it's not cooked, not rendered down. This, whole different ball game. Right, let's take a look at this sausage now. Bit of a grain chill moment as it sort of zips into shot. There you can see it's got a nice even cook all around it. This is just a normal pork sausage. Nothing particularly spectacular to it. It came from Lidl after all. Let's cut into there and give you a look inside. You can see there, no real herbs or anything, just a pork sausage. Let's give it a try by itself first. Mmm. That is a better sausage than I expected it to be. It's lovely and meaty. Obviously got a very high meat content. They haven't put any filler in there, any rusk or anything. So the skin is nicely cooked up. It's got a nice little bite to it. Let's try it with a little bit of brown sauce. Sausages are always better with brown sauce on, aren't they? Mmm. Brown sauce is so good with breakfast. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. Hit of vinegar. It just works perfectly, it's great. Next, I think, is try the potatoes. Now, let's say I just peeled some potatoes, boiled them up a little bit, part boiled them, and then fried them in the pan that the bacon and the fried bread had been in. So you get all these sort of gnarly little crispy bits on there. It should be nice and soft inside. Mm. That's great. A little bit of a flavour from the pan, from the things that have already been cooking in there. Nice crispy edges to it. Lovely soft centre. Mm. That is so much better than having a hash brown with your breakfast. I don't know why cafes don't do this all the time. It's so easy to do. And you can boil these a day in advance easily. Keep them in the fridge overnight and just put a little portion into a pan as you're going along. Mm. They are wonderful. Okay, tomato next. Now I'll see if I can pick one of these up without it spilling everywhere because they're pretty juicy now they've been roasted up. There we go. So you can see the skin is all kind of. I don't know, what's the word for that really? <laughs> it looks like it's gone a bit flabby, but it hasn't. <laughs> but that's just because. Oh, I dropped it now. Trying to be too clever, showing you the top of it, there we go. 
lovely and juicy, lovely and soft. Cut the piece off and give it a try. Mm. Perfect. Again, a lot of places where you go, like for example, Premier Inn is one that springs to mind. They do the fresh tomatoes, but they're barely cooked. They're just warm. Um, it just doesn't work with a breakfast when it's like that. Well, when it's like this, this was roasted for 20 minutes. Mm. It was so soft. It really intensifies that tomato flavour. Mm. And a little bit of seasoning on the top. And that little hint of rosemary really works. Okay, fried bread time. Now, I can't pick it up and show you because, like I say, it's covered in beans. But there's a little corner here, which isn't. So there we go. <laughs> Lovely and crisp. I say this was cooked in the bacon fat. I don't know if you can pick up on how crispy that is. Mm. A fried bread is not a health food. And generally speaking, like this, I prefer it to be made with pretty cheap white bread. Nothing, uh, nothing flash about it. You wouldn't waste good sourdough or anything on this. But, uh, yeah, just getting it in the pan with a bit of oil, all that sort of bacon fat. It crisps it up, it soaks into the bread a little bit. Put some beans on. Mm. That's great. Right, let's have a little look at this egg, shall we? Okay, egg time. Will it pass the test? Oh, yeah, look at that. There's nothing more satisfying than cutting into a, an egg yolk and seeing it all running down on the plate there. As you can see, the egg is fully cooked. It's not a snotty egg at all. It's just cooked nicely and that yolk is going to be delicious. Yum. Okay, I think you'll agree that egg looked pretty spectacular. And here we have some now ready to go. Nice bit of that white. Like I say, I like it without any crispy edges to it at all. So I cook it at a pretty low temperature for a bit longer than most people might. Um, and then just baste it with the oil to cover the top. That looks good, doesn't it? Nice bit of fried bread there to go with it. Mm. That's delicious. You can tell the difference between a fresh local egg to a supermarket egg. The yolk is such a vibrant orangey colour. The white's got such a lovely creamy texture. That's a really, really tasty egg. I'm paired up with fried bread. I mean, goodness me. Is there anything that's not better with fried bread? Well, on a breakfast. <laughs> Probably an apple crumble wouldn't be, but yeah, that's really good. So I think that's everything tried now. And I'm going to polish this all off and we'll come back and have a chat about it at the end. folks that was delicious <laughs> even if I do say so myself <laughs> I think a breakfast is something you want to take a little bit of time over preparing like I say I tend to cook things at a lower temperature the sausages took almost 25 minutes to cook in the air fryer uh, but they ended up lovely golden kind of color all round even coloring uh, the tomatoes were delicious cooked in the air fryer too the bacon again cooking it from cold in a cold pan, bringing it up to temperature so the fat renders out and you can use that then on your fried bread. Just little touches like that make a real difference. Obviously, if you're going out for breakfast, you're going into a cafe or something like that, they don't necessarily have the opportunity to do that. But at home, you can. You can just take your time over it. I think that was a great breakfast. Like I said, the sausages were really good. Considering they were just like little sausages, I know they were the deluxe ones, but they were really meaty really tasty just a good sausage didn't release a lot of fat during the cooking 
Obviously when you're air frying things, you're not moving them around too much so the skins don't split. Keeps the uh, moisture in the sausage, keeps the fat content in there. Yeah, that was, that was a good sausage. The bacon, Tesco finest, so you're hoping it's gonna be all right. But that was delicious, that crisped up really, really nicely. Nice and salty, nice and crispy. Yeah, good bacon that. The egg, again, awesome. Cooked just how I like it, because I cooked it. <laughs> so that's fair enough. Um, just again, on a nice low temperature, so you don't get any crispy bits. The white is nicely cooked through, but soft all round. A little bit of basting of the oil over the top, just to cover up the top of the yolk. But that was great. And you saw how when I cut into it, it just oozed all over the plate. That's a fried egg for you. The fried bread, delicious. Um, it's got to be a treat, hasn't it? You can't have fried bread every day, <laughs> that's for sure. But every once in a while, it's a really nice treat. Especially with the beans on it. That's great. I had one with the egg on it, of course. Also tasty. Those little fried potatoes. Like I say, if you're, if you're at home and you're making a cooked breakfast, I mean, you can even use leftover potatoes from a previous meal. If you've had some boiled potatoes or you've been making some roast potatoes or whatever, just use them up. Fry them up in the pan that you've been cooking all the other ingredients in. Get a nice crisp edge on them. Nice and hot. Absolutely delicious. A little bit of salt on there. You cannot go wrong. It beats a hash brown every single day of the week. There's no competition. And of course, a little bit of toast. A cup of Rosie Lee. Awesome. Really, really happy with that. That has set me up for the day. It really has. Okay then, gang. If you've enjoyed today's video, why not click a thumbs up on there for me? It does help with the channel. And if you've got any comments, stick them down below. I'll try and respond to everybody who comments on the video. Let me know if you think that was a good breakfast. If there's anything you'd have added. I would have added black pudding if I'd remembered to buy it. <laughs> but there we are. It was good anyway. Don't think it really needed it. I was never going to add mushrooms. I hate the things. So <laughs> it's all a little bit of personal taste, isn't it? Um, if you're new around here and you enjoy what you've seen, don't forget you can click that subscribe button just down here and you can ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Okay, I'm going to go off, finish my cup of tea, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.